I'd like to talk to you today about another area of the game that is really important to the outcome of the game and yet as athletes at times when we're asked by our coaches to play th these particular positions we kind of ham and haw because we feel gee we're not part of the action well gang I've got news for you you're definitely part of the action because you are indirectly responsible for all plays that are being made in general you're also at times directly responsible for outcomes of the game for example infielders when you make a mistake, ball goes between your legs, it's one base. Outfielders, you make a mistake, the ball goes to the fence, hey, it's two bases. That's right, I'm talking about outfield play. We'll continue this with our team defense and how important outfield play is to the outcomes of games. Right away when we talk about outfield play, we've got to go back and think about balance. In the previous tape that I spoke to you about, we talked about balance with the infield. Well, let's talk about balance with the outfield and among each other. When you talk about shifting, if, if a left fielder is going to shift toward the third baseline because there's a pull hitter up, well, that means the center fielder has to shift, and that means the right fielder has to shift toward the center. And the same is true when you have an opposite field hitter on deck, or actually not on deck, but is actually hitting. The same thing happens. You have the right fielder will move toward first base line. The center fielder will then shift over toward the first base area. And then your left fielder will shift over to the middle. It's important that you maintain a proper balance. The other thing is when you talk about um, outfield play, you also talk about timing. Timing of your movement in terms of backing up situations. Timing of your movements when the ball is batted off the bat and timing of your movements in your approach to a batted ball. That's also part of the whole concept of team defense when you're talking about outfield play. The third area, which is important too, is your communication. The center fielder is the quarterback of all outfield play. Just like your catcher is the quarterback for infield, our center fielder should be the quarterback of outfield. She is the one that maybe has the best voice, She's a leader out there, and she dictates what's going on prior to a pitch. Also, what has to happen in terms of, of coaches and as players, you've got to understand game situations in order to make the proper decisions. The situations like the inning, what's the score, who the hitter is, what is the speed of the runner, how many runners are on base, and for outfield play especially, the conditions of the grass. Is the grass wet? Is it dry? Is it short? Is it thick? A lot of times in outfield play, you'll find that coaches around the country or facilities around the country, they don't do a great job in maintaining their outfield. So it's really important that outfielders get a chance to really understand the conditions of, of a field and make sure that in their game warm-ups, they take a lot of balls hit to them, both on the ground and also in the air, so they get an idea of what the field conditions are. The next thing we're going to talk about is, is our personnel from a coaching standpoint. You know, how to analyze the strength and weaknesses of our outfielders. The first and obvious is strength of arm. When you talk about outfield play, you talk about 200 feet. Outfielders are asked to make more throws at a greater distance. Therefore, hey, maybe one of your best strong arms need to be in the outfield. And nine times out of ten, you look at strength of arm, they're usually your center fielders. The next area you got to look at as a coach in terms of personnel is are you right-handed or left-handed? You'll find in general coaches will place their lefties out in right field and truly because part of it is an angle but we've also seen great outfielders in center field and on occasions we've seen some lefties in, in left field but for the norm it's mostly your right fielders and it's your center fielders that are lefties. The other area that you got to look at is from a coaching standpoint is the approach to the ball. How quick are these outfielders approaching to the ball? That will dictate your depth as an outfield and as an individual athlete. How quick are you in approaching to the ball? Last thing is, is, your, is your quickness of release. Your quickness of your release and accuracy. Now as coaches, when we run practices, and we just have throws out to the outfield, we say, gee, these outfielders throw great. And the outfielders do throw great when there's no runners on. Their accuracy is pretty decent. 
But all of a sudden you put runners on and look what happens. We have missed throws, missed cues. So the bottom line is, gang, if you can't field and if you can't throw, hey, you're not going to have good team defense and specifically for outfield play. So that's something as coaches and as athletes we get back to fundamentals. You got to continue with your throwing skills, you got to continue with your defensive fielding positions, but also know it's the balance. How you feel the ball, how you approach the ball, how you throw the ball, you want to maintain that balance and it's the timing of what you do that makes success out of you as coaches and you as athletes. The other area is the coach themselves. Are they the type of coach that what I call a do or die situation? Will you allow a situation in which, hey, a player may go for the ball and if she makes it, that's great, you're out of the inning, or if she doesn't, wow, the ball gets behind her and now you may allow a, a run to score. There are situations that you may give a green light and say, hey, let's take a chance, where again, you've got to know the score, you've got to know the inning in order to dictate um, strategy. So know yourself as a coach. A lot of times you might want to play safe. Hey, we won't get the lead runner, but let's get that trail runner and keep her from being in an advanced base situation.